Well, it's the Guns, Knives, and Watches, and this is my, of course, S10 pickup. Or, uh, I guess they call it a GMC Canyon because it's a GMC, and I guess the Chevrolet dropped the S10 a long time ago. But this is my Weather Guard truck box uh, <clears throat> that I have in the back of it, and I've got it loaded basically with my kit. Since this is a four door truck, I could put part of the kit in the back of it, but. It's more convenient. This is a deep uh, weather guard truck box. And I just got my basic accoutrements, <laughs> I guess. One of my green bags, which uh, this is one of four. It is specialized for this vehicle, for its purpose. Uh, like all of them, all of them are very individualistic based on the type of clothing, situations, environment, and... Uh, basically tasks that that backpack has to accomplish <clears throat> i've got this one marked as being blue now we've got a a bucket boss basically bag for the uh, jumper cables and those are kind of special jumper cables then i've got a spin saw of course in there i've got a baco laplander but the spin saw when I'm trying to do larger work, uh, and this is this is the big one. This isn't this isn't the small spin saw. This is the long one. I can do that work a lot quicker. Uh, and if I'm going to go out in a, in a situation, I would much rather have some type of redundancy and also have a, a basically a, a bigger saw. Would I be happier with a larger saw than that? Yes, I would. But that those spin saws have always done done me. <coughs> Now, this bucket boss bag is basically to protect nothing more than the jumper cables, and it may have some tools in it. Sorry for the shakiness. I didn't prep this. I'm just getting this video out there kind of quickly. Now, those are solid copper uh, jumper cables, which is why I went through the expense of buying the bag. Uh, of course, I've got a, a, screw, a small short screwdriver in there with multiple bits. And could I have more tools in here? Yeah, I could. But these are the ones that I go to all the time. Now, this extent, this uh, jumper cable, not only is it full copper, it's not a copper covered aluminum like you would buy at uh, Walmart or any of the big box stores. It's extremely heavy. They're extremely expensive. Uh, probably, I don't know how much they are, but back when copper was higher, these were probably over way over $100. Um, and they're extremely long so they can go if I have a vehicle in the back if I can only pull up to the back of a vehicle I can charge it the battery in the front that's one of the things I really like long extension cords when you get long extension cords the size of the cable really matters when you're trying to jump a diesel the size really matters uh, just to get that electricity more efficiently to uh, to its uh, deal I don't know if there's any markings on these or not. Probably not. Uh, they're not something that I use very often. My other ones that I have, I, the ones I beat up all the time, um, are very well worn. Uh, now the Condor shovel. Out of all the small shovels that I've found, of course, you could use the cold steel shovel. You could do about anything. I really prefer the Condor in this application. Why? Because it's longer. Uh, by a little bit you can look the specifications up it's got a point tip I like that uh, it doesn't have a real big head on it it's not sharp so I don't have to worry about it like the cold steel I don't have to worry about it cutting anything in here and it's got a handle on it uh, that's riveted on yeah it's plastic but we've got our, our reinforcer right here uh, to keep that metal from spreading it's riveted well I could put a bolt through that if I needed to uh, and I could possibly also change out the end of that handle if I needed to but it's been uh, it's been a good tool really good size uh, I like the fact to said that it's got a longer handle I wish I knew which model this was let's see if we can find out this is the 4x4 pointed edge shovel uh, by Condor might not be the best shovel for everything, but it's a nice shovel to have in this small little kit because this is a small truck, GMC Canyon, and of course this is the extended uh, crew cab um, with the larger, larger truck box. Oops! Pay attention to where you're stepping, boy. Now, one other thing I may have in here 
And what I used to do is I used to keep uh, more of my tools back there. But it's not in here. I keep some plastic trash bags and this there or the other for picking up trash on the side of the road. But, you know, there's some, there's some storage back there. Not a whole lot. But I really like my GMC Canyon. 